Hey Throne and Stones fans, um, unfortunately we weren't able to do any live shows this season which we're all really bummed about. Indeed. So we thought we would do um, some fun videos where we could, um, where you guys could ask questions and we could just talk a bit about the episodes. So uh, first we'll introduce ourselves. Um, I'm Rebecca Kennedy and I play Chrissy Holden. I'm Chad Cox, Mr. Beckett. I'm Cher Lee and I play Robin. So um, now we'll just uh, take a minute to talk about what you guys have seen so far. You've seen three episodes, so mm -hmm. we can kind of recap and talk a little bit about what's been going on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, season, I mean, uh, so <laughs> episode one picked right up where we left off after uh, season one. Yeah, where you guys are in the elevator. Yes. And, and you're officially uh, on a bloody rampage now. Right. O like, officially. Right. Like, we can see it. So finally Beckett... You know, was uh, revealing himself. So, but uh, but yeah, a funny uh, story about the elevator, right? With the <laughs> we kept hitting the, or they kept hitting the, the oh police my call gosh. button. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the police, and we're screaming. We're like, yeah. hit the button, hit the button. He's coming, he's coming. And we hear the the operator, and she's like, can you guys? Is there a problem? <laughs> Please let me know if do we need to come get you? Do you need yeah. some assistance? And we couldn't hear anything. We were yelling so yeah. loud. So then when they'd say cut, she's like, I really need an answer from somebody. What is going on? And if, uh, if Tom, you're watching this, I think it was you. It was. It was yeah. you. It happened twice, I think, right? Yeah, yeah, it did. Well, it happened once when we were shooting the first season, mm -hmm. but it happened a lot more. Happened. Yeah, and I don't need the elevator work, so I'm not really sure. That scene was really hard for, I think, the group of us to focus that were in the elevator, mm -hmm. because that was the only scene that we all had together. So we were like, guys, it's so good to see you. Yeah, Let's yeah. Do oh, right, be scared. Yeah. And they were like, guys, stop laughing. Please, bring bring the focus back. Right. That was a hard one for us. Yeah. And who died? Spencer. Oh, wait, what's his character's name? I forgot. Asher. Asher. <laughs> Asher. Spencer's okay. He's Spencer's alive, kicking, Spencer doing great. Alive. We yeah, love him. Good. But Asher is dead, yeah. so he was the first Asher. victim. <laughs> Asher got to his, uh, his and, uh, and And Don Trell got his head a little... His yeah. cranium cracked, I guess. Yeah, so you guys run off, and you're in a room with, with Yes, Tom. we have run, uh, yeah. meanwhile, as... Little people ran fast. Right, me. The little people, they do run fast. <laughs> you me. were booking we're it. Like, like, I know. know. <laughs> she left the other way. <laughs> me, me, and Tad, the track star. me and Tad have gone off into a classroom, and we are, um, I come up with this brilliant plan to hide in the ceiling. It is brilliant. Which you well, have not seen us since, so maybe you'll find out what's happened to us in the next few. Yeah. yeah. Meanwhile... And it's going to be good. Yeah, meanwhile, Dontrell and I are in the gym with, with uh... Well, I, I, I met up with, uh, uh, Glover, mm. played yes. by Brian Massey, who scared me. Um, yeah. he maces her. Yeah, he maces me, and then, uh, I get brought into the gym, and, um, And yeah. tortured. And tortured. <laughs> Mentally. I got some, uh, bruised knees. Yeah. I had to go to an audition the next day, and it was a callback, and I wore a skirt to the first audition, <laughs> so I have, like, I'm putting concealer on my knees so it doesn't look like somebody, like, took a baseball bat to my kneecap. It's yeah. a good story. It's it was a good, good, you know, conversation yeah. starter. Yeah. And also, we found out that Stacy is dead. <clears throat> yeah, well, for sure, we found out that she's dead, and uh, apparently Brian still... Massey's character, Glover, still yes. wanted her to be his date for the game. And now he's dead, too. Yes, now yeah. he is so dead. We have mm -hmm. had, what, that's four victims? Yes. Was and and Dontrell was hung. Yes. We forgot about hung. that. And uh, now um, Robin, my character, is handcuffed to dead Stacy, which it was cold in the gym and she was freezing, so she really did feel like ice was gross. So yeah. that's where Not we left off. I mean, not saying Kayla's gross. <laughs> Kayla's stunning and wonderful, but... <laughs> Blood on the hands. It was a little much. And Kayla yeah. did an excellent job. I must she say. did. She I I don't like. I'm watching it going. Like he shoves her down to the ground to go run and catch me, and like she Kayla just goes, like yeah. fell. Well, I'm Brian, like, wow. Brian Kayla, too was really good. His at being death, death is terrifying. I, There's like a little tear, yeah. like right here. I'm like, oh. I told him too because then we kept shooting, and he was uh, from different angles, and he was dead. And he I stayed dead. Forgot that it was a person. I was thinking it was just this prop. And yeah. His eye, it wasn't his eyes open. Too. Yeah. yeah, the so whole was, like, time, really and he didn't. Well, it was scary when we uh, did um, the scene with Dontrell hanging because we did one take. They wanted to see how long he could hang. Yeah, and, um, and they had a signal where if he started, he had if his hands came up like this, that was that he really couldn't handle it anymore. And he needed to get down. 
we did a pretty good chunk of the scene, and we forgot that, like, there was somebody standing by, and all of a sudden you see Lynn do this, and it didn't look like he moved at all. But they were like, get him down, get yeah. him down! It was the most terrifying thing that we shot that day, because everybody rushed to Lynn. Yeah, like ten people, and just, you hear their footsteps just running yeah. across the Yeah, and they're screaming, like... get him, hurry! And we were like, oh my gosh, what happened? But yeah. he said... I mean, I wish he was here to be able to say it, but, like, he's such a trooper. Like, he said he felt his feet. Getting further away from me. I know. <laughs> I'm, like, thinking. He said his feet started getting numb, and then it moved up to his legs, and then he was like, I can still handle it. I'm not really bad. And he said he literally felt the air, like, slowly, and when it came up to, like, his chest, he was like, Ugh. I can't do it. Because he couldn't, he said he couldn't feel anything anymore. It was, like, Whoa. so scary. Lynn. You're a rock awesome. star. I'm glad you survived that. I know, no I mean, kidding. As the actor, <laughs> not no. as the character. Yeah, really. he definitely did not. I, I still, I think Robin feels really, really guilty about that. Well, that's not her fault. Well, you were only a better basketball player. Hey, did you see? <laughs> oh, actually, out of the it times kind of that we fault. shot the the basket, it was like they had me just do shoots. Yeah. And I was like, free throw, all this stuff. Like four times it like made it in. <laughs> it was like and Becky's yes. Like, no! <laughs> Same. <laughs> the credits roll. You know, yeah, exactly. Forget and it. done. I think that one time that happened, I was like, Do we, uh, yeah. was it actually on the basket? Did do we catch that? Can we go? Swish. What's happening? So yeah. it was funny. Cool. Um, well, sweet. So that's what's happened in the yeah. first three episodes. Um, and num number four comes out on Tuesday, and you don't want to miss it. Yeah. So mm, that's gonna be fun. Yeah. Um, now I guess we can move on to some questions from you fans out there. Uh, the first one uh, is to all of us from uh, Marco. Uh, he Hi, says, Marco. "So I'm a stoner. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I love the horror episodes you design, and I have one question. The start of the new season is exciting and scary. The horror expressions you guys act out are very realistic and awesome." Sweet. Before shooting a new Throwing Stones episode, what do you actors do to pre prepare for the filming mental-wise in order to reach that height that makes it look that realistic? Can't wait to see what's next. Take care. So who wants to st who wants to start? Why you? So, so far we've seen you go crazy. Um. So far I've just been hiding. But I'll answer it. <laughs> I I mean like I I I memorize lines and stuff like that obviously. And other than that, I just kind of don't do much because it's, it kind of like works itself out when you're in the environment and everybody else is such great the, the performances from everyone else are so great that I really just have to respond and react to everybody and if I rehearse things and like tried to prep for things I think it would come off as not authentic because I'm not working opposite them I'm doing all the work on my own and it wouldn't match with everybody so it it kind of I think all the work was pretty much done for us when we did casting and everybody just did a, a really strong job. So, how about you, Chad? I know you don't necessarily get scared, but you right. still have a lot. You still <laughs> well, have a he might different. later. Just saying, right. it's a possibility. <laughs> no, it's, yeah, I, well, for Beckett, I mean, it's mainly. Uh, I think I just I had to have a. I personally wanted to have a total understanding of just his motivation for everything and then kind of twist that around and and sort of physically get into a state of almost hysteria to where then once we were rolling just all that pent up frustration um, just came out you know in the lines and I agree with Jeremy too like knowing the lot knowing the lines is like you, you got to have them just where you're not even thinking about it because yeah. then you're you're too in your head so they, they need to just come out and almost to where you know I relate it to like when you're listening if you listen to like an album every time like for a long time then when you hear one of the songs later you think the next song is going to be that yeah no song. it's true yeah. it's very true and that's kind of what lines are like you just it sounds weird if you don't say the right line it doesn't come out you know so <clears throat> I just kind of I think that's the key is to be off really off book you know and, uh, oh, my dinner's here. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, but, so uh, yeah. And then physically get kind of worked out. Right. So. Yeah, I agree with them. I think that obviously knowing the lines is the first step. And then once you're in there, 
thankfully we had such an amazing cast that it was so easy just to play off of them. Yeah. That I just can't, all I had to do was come in and know the lines and the rest was just there. Yeah, and, exactly. And really just putting, you know, yourself in the character situation and just running with it and seeing what happens is really the the best way to prepare. It's kind of it's kind of just a terrifying situation to see people that you I mean cuz we're all friends with the cast. Right. So seeing your friends covered in blood mm -hmm. acting like they're dead or dying, it pretty much does all the work for you. Right. It's very <laughs> it's even if it's not real. It it's feels a mind trip. very real. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. And and like when I saw a couple people like when I would come in to do my scenes if I wasn't in the scenes, like um uh, you and Lindsay had just finished working on, on something, and like just to see you guys walk out of that, I was like, what happened in there? They look like they were tormented. Like, it's it was very scary. So, Well, you'll just see. I will see. <laughs> well, that was a great question. Thank you, Mark. Yeah. You may ask you that one. Uh, well, we have one more for all of oh, us. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, not, well, down the list okay. if we're writing for you. Yeah. Um, this is for all of us, and okay. this is from Amy. And uh, she asks if we are ever actually scared. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. I was scared in the gym. I have to shoot, uh, at, like, later on, a couple days later. We shot everything in three days. A couple days later, I had to do uh, a scene where I was coming out of the gym. If I ever got out of the gym. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> um, but, yeah, being in the we gym. We don't know. We don't know. not. I'll just say, I mean, the lights were off, and um, it was me in the gym by myself, and uh, they locked the door. You could only <laughs> open it from the outside, mm -hmm. so they'd keep it slightly ajar, and then they were like, no, close it all the way. And I'm hearing all, like, you know, you've been in a gym where there's nobody in there. You just hear, like, gym noises and everything's creaky and stuff, and I was like, I'm officially scarred. I don't think I could be in a gym by myself, especially when it's dark. It was terrifying, and I could not get out of that room fast enough. And I told them that funny. every time. <laughs> like I was like, "Are we rolling? Please tell me when we're rolling." So I'll close the door, but not until we're like officially going, because I'm not doing this. It was terrifying. So yeah, but that definitely helped in preparation for being alone in the gym by myself. Did you get scared up in the ceiling? Besides the um, cockroaches. And well, Ew, gross. <laughs> yeah, there was. Um, as you know, I, I'm not giving anything away because you know that we are going to hide in the ceiling. And one take, um, I, I did um, have a huge... And I'm not, like, scared of roaches because they can't really hurt you. But when they're huge and they're on you, um, that just is creepy. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. we were doing the take and I felt little legs. Are you serious? Crawling. And I was like... And so I didn't want to, you know, I was like, I'm not going to cut because that's just lame, you know. So I did the scene and they called cut and I looked down and he's like looking at me. Oh! <laughs> like little tentacle things. I'm like, ah! Wow. So that was... That, and we're done. Gross. That was a little, um, you know, and, and of course the room's very dark and you're in a kind of a tight space. So that's, you know, very... It, but it all helps. Like Jeremy said, it all helps you get into character and be that, you know. Because it would happen. But every time, every time that we're doing a scene where... Like Beckett is coming, and we're running, and like the, uh, everything's pretty loosely blocked, I would say, so that like we kind of don't know what the other person's gonna do, and we have a game plan. If one actor does this, the other actor does this, and then it's reversed. So you really have to pay attention. But after a while, like every time I would hear Chad coming down the hallway, even if we weren't rolling, I was like, oh, what am I? Where am I supposed to go? I'm. Oh, no. <laughs> we haven't blocked this yet. Never mind. So yeah, yeah. it's good. And I guess you're never really scared because you were the tormentor, so... He's scary. Yeah, no, I... I guess you weren't really, really scared in real life. Maybe, maybe, maybe. No, not, not <laughs> physically, no. <laughs> emotionally, maybe. Yeah, well, emotionally he <laughs> was... scared for my future. <laughs> uh, this question is for Rebecca. If you had a chance to be in the shoes of any other actress, who would it be and why? And that, uh, this was from, Oh, um, sorry. Uh, Jody. Jody. Jody! Elf Ninja! Um, that's a hard question. I know and a, it's down here. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> um, it's a hard question and a really good one. Um, there are so many actors or actresses that I would love to be in their shoes at this moment. Um, I guess one I would say, uh, which is kind of weird because she's a lot younger than me. Dinner again. Yeah. Um, <laughs> sorry, we're really hungry over Yeah, here. you know us. Uh, it would be uh, Saoirse Ronan. 
if you guys, I don't know if you know who she is, but she was in like the Lovely Bones yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Atonement. She was nominated She's for great. Um, uh, Best Supporting Actress. Uh, she just did Hannah, but uh, she's awesome. I think she just does, every movie she does, she's completely different. She always does different accents. Like, she's Irish, but you wouldn't even know it. Yeah, yeah no. Um, she always challenges herself with, you know, really challenging roles and really just um, puts herself out there. And I really respect her. And she has a lot of great movies coming up. So I, she was one that I would really definitely love to be um, in her shoes. Hmm. Um, what was the best part about being a part of Throwing Stones? Uh, I would say <laughs> the best part about it would be um, the cast. I think just working with you guys has been, um, and everyone else that's not here, has been a dream come true. And just being able to be with people that are so in the moment that you just can't help but be in the moment too. Like there's no, there's no acting really. It's not, there's no false, it's just real. And it helps you just feel real and it's just been an amazing opportunity. Plus everyone has been so nice and they're all so supportive and if you need help getting to a certain place, you know, Sherry and I were <laughs> behind, you know, like, it's before they would call action, we were, like, getting ourselves to each other, you crying, know, crying <laughs> mentally there, and it's just, you you can't always find people that are willing to do that with yeah, you. Yeah, no, that's very true. So it was just, it's just really been a blessing, and I would say the cast has just been amazing. And everybody, like, everybody works when even the cam when the camera's not even on them. Yes. Which, yes. sometimes you'll find some actors that are like, I don't want to use this energy until it's my close-up. Right. And that always frustrates me, because, mm -hmm. like, but this this project was not that way. Mm -hmm. And everybody's like, you know, we all have to get there for each other, and it was a team effort, so it's, you know, it's awesome. Yeah, that was a really good point. So That was also from Jody. And then her, yes. last, her last question is to you. You did an incredible job on the episode so far. Thanks, Jody. How do you prepare yourself for that much screaming and shouting? Um... Uh, Everybody always thinks that I lose my voice after screaming all the time. Uh, I don't... I've always liked to scream, I guess. And, and it's <laughs> random that in a bunch of projects that I've done, it always gets... I, I, there's, like, always a scream. And I, when I was eight, uh, I was supposed to do a scream, and I asked the sound guy if he wanted me to go full force terrified scream, and he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, um, okay. well... <laughs> Okay, and now my voice is a little bit deeper, so you can imagine it a couple octaves <laughs> higher and a little more shrill with, like, no vocal strain whatsoever. And uh, it was loud, and apparently the sound guy was like, Oh, Blood. she did ask. She did ask. <laughs> and I was like, uh, so I scream all the time, and I do a lot of voiceover work where um, I guess I've learned to work through that, and I just have to make sure they get enough air and breathe from my diaphragm so I'm not, like, killing my voice. But yeah, no, it's fun. I like doing that. And then when I hear it, I'm like, that was loud. Do you have to drink like a lot more water that day or anything? Uh, no, I mean, well, lately I've been trying to drink at least like 80 to 180 ounces Glasses? of water a oh. day. <laughs> yes, 180. She's like, hold on, I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm just doing that to try to take better care of my voice. Probably should have done that before anyway, but you know, whatever. Better late than never. Uh, yeah, this is to all of us from Ashley Stewart. Hi, Hi oh. Ashley. <laughs> You're not there. Oh, yeah, there you are. Um, You're in there somewhere. <laughs> any upcoming projects? So, next question. <laughs> uh, Chad, would you like to answer uh, that? <clears throat> well, I'm doing the score, the music for a, a film coming up here in about a month. Um, awesome. The director that directed this season of Throwing Stones. John Keyes. John Keyes. Awesome. He uh, is awesome. I'm going to be doing the, the music for his his film, Phobia. So. Oh, cool. Yeah. That sounds like a lot of fun. And he did, Chad did the music for Throwing Stones. Which is amazing. You guys don't know. And it's been incredible. So, good job. Thanks. I Sherry. really think it makes it more scary with music. Oh, oh well, definitely. Yeah. Jeremy, do you have any other Um, pictures? Yeah, I have a film called Beyond the Fire of the Star that's coming out in March. And then uh, a film that I did a, a little while ago called Spilt Milk, which actually the guy who plays Nick in New Girl with Zoe Deschanel, he's in that film with me. And that's on iTunes right now. And um, yeah, I'm working on some other stuff that I'm not allowed to talk about just yet. Oh, those actors. They're I really know! Uh, I did a film called Cry that I think we're getting a trailer in January and it should come out in a year. I don't know. There's some other things that are a secret. 
Mm. So when they become an unsecret, then I can share them. You'll have to post the new. Yeah. <laughs> we'll make a new video just just talking about us. And, yes. uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. What about you? Well, um, I have a film I did uh, in 2010 called House Hunting uh, with mm. uh, Mark Singer and Art Lafleur that should come out this year. Um, we have not gotten a release date yet, but I know they have distribution. So the trailer's great. Sweet. Yeah, it oh, is really yeah. good. Thank you. I do a lot of running. Yeah, yeah. In that film. Uh, again. <laughs> again, I like to run. I don't know. Um, I did a film uh, called I'm Gabriel last year um, that has John Snyder and Dean Kane, and that's coming out this year sometime. And uh, another one called Curse of Babylon that's supposed to come out this <laughs> sometime. It's like all these. I know. No, they, they never give you any specific. Any dates. I know. I have um, that problem. Just <laughs> so many films. <laughs> Whatever. It just takes years for no, them to come out. Yeah. So, um, and then I did a pilot in October. Uh, called Fat Busters, and we're just waiting to hear if that's going to get picked up. Cool. So, yeah, cool. If, if it is, I'll do a lot of running in that. <laughs> so, do you run a lot in that too? Yeah, I just wow. do a lot of running. Wow. Fat Busters? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Um, and this is also from Ashley. What's it like being on a set? Or being on this set? Being on set. Or it could be a set. <laughs> or any set. Any, any set. The set. <laughs> the, the one set. The set. <laughs> I love it personally. I mean, it's. You know, I think if uh, if you you know, I mean, <clears throat> okay, <Yeah. laughs> no, like <laughs> I was gonna say, my my kids actually are interested in acting. I kind of told them. I mean, if you can do anything else, you know, because it's such a tough business. Do it. Do it. But <laughs> if it's something like to where you you know, you kind of live and breathe it anyway, and you can't get away from it, then being on the set is kind of like the um, you know, the height of that, where you're, especially with an ensemble and, uh, yeah. you know, and table reads and rehearsing and blocking and just all the experiences you have on a set, if that's what you love, it really is, it's pretty, you know, pretty cool. Agreed. Yeah. Yeah. It's one of those things that, like, you always, for me, just the, the feeling of being on the set and the whole vibe, that's... I mean, like, you get cast because you want to do a project, but it's not just the project. It's just like, I'm going to be on another set. Mm. And it's like, it's, you got to, you got to get your fix. Yeah. You sound like, sound crazy. <laughs> oh, food. The food's always really good. The food is good. Uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, especially, yeah, craft services, like, Heck it's yeah. free. I mean, yeah. well, and it's like, it's almost like a second home. It yeah, totally you know, is. It's like you leave your home to go to another home mm -hmm. where... You know, a lot of people go to work that they hate, and fortunately for us, we get to go to jobs that we love, and literally just get to play all day with people that we love, and it's just, it's really cool. And I think it makes up for the fact that, like he said, it is such a hard business that it doesn't happen all the time. Like, we're not on a set, like, every day Well, I gotta go, because I gotta go to a set. Yeah. <laughs> that's not, that's not the way it works. Um, so, and sometimes you're really busy, and sometimes there's, like, nothing. Mm -hmm. So when you when you go, I mean everybody's so happy to be there because everybody knows how rare it ha happens. So everybody appreciates it. So it's it's just a it's a very like grateful, uplifting environment just because everybody honestly wants to be there. And right. if they if they didn't, then they wouldn't have gone through the entire long process yeah. that an audition is. Well, and just making a uh, whether it's a play or a movie or mm -hmm. a TV or whatever, the, just the whole idea of what you're doing bonds actors and crew and all that totally. together in a kind of a different way than you know some mundane thing you're having to do it's it's like we're standing here just being <laughs> we're like pretending we're other people <laughs> and saying these <laughs> weird things and yes. looking you know right into each other's eyes and saying <laughs> just making Bizarre up you know, things. and then the you know so yeah it kind of bonds you know there's a bond there with uh that i think is kind of different totally. I agree. um david i don't have a last name but yeah he didn't have he doesn't have David, one. no last name, David. David. You know who you are. Did um, Jeremy? Did you shed real tears? I I did actually. There was a lot of tears going on, and uh, I think there was one, one take where I talked to you about another film where I cried so much in that oh, movie, yeah. and they got every. They didn't take the takes where the, like tears actually rolled down my face. It was always right before, and my eyes were like filled with tears, and I was like, it looks like I didn't cry. Like it looks like I got to the point that I couldn't like. Yeah. Couldn't seal the deal. So it was like telling Chad. And so one take, he like went, 
<laughs> like it was brushed the tear one. off my face. The and one we just saw where I moved like Yeah, you did. I, and one of the takes, I just like took her tear. And, like, <laughs> and then he See? ate it. See? Yeah. Yeah. No, I was just, yeah. Yeah, that was a, I, they were real tears. I can, were. I can attest to that. Yeah, no, I, I, <laughs> saved it. I, well, and sometimes, you know, pocket. they do give you, like, the <laughs> option <laughs> of, uh, of fake tears, but just say no, because that's, you know. Yeah, say no kids. They <laughs> hurt. They do kind of hurt. Not they blow, know, like, but. they blow stuff in your face, and it's like, I mean, I don't know how that can make somebody cry, because you're just like, it's oh. asbestos, Like, too. that's it. <laughs> <laughs> they blow anthrax in your eyes. <laughs> yeah, it works. Rebecca though. was talking it's about like it. you just go to do the take and you're like, <laughs> yeah. okay, let's do this. <laughs> Pretty much, it looks yeah. horrible. I don't, I don't know. A little tears, a little blood. It's just <laughs> <laughs> it looks good on camera. So. Yeah, absolutely. A little color for your face. Well, this question is to Chad from Corey. Uh, what kind <laughs> of mindset do you have before you film a murder scene? <clears throat> I'm pretending I didn't know that was going to be a question, but I'm actually <laughs> um, so uh, yeah. For well, for Beckett, I guess it'd be different for each character, but yeah. like for um, for Beckett, I really my main goal was to make make in my mind it makes sense why I was doing this stuff, and I, I felt like I didn't want to indicate things and try to show like well here's what Beckett wants to do and that, but I wanted to, I had a very clear. Um, idea of why I was doing this and I had a very clear relationship with each character. I had s secrets as Beckett, how I felt about Robin, how I felt about uh, your name. I can't, it's been so long now. <laughs> um, Chrissy. Chrissy, I'm sorry. The only reason he I, knows my name is because he just watched the I, recent yeah, right. three episodes. <laughs> I, well, I want to say Rebecca. Anyway, but, um, and uh, Tad, you know, Tom's character. Uh, I had these things in my mind that were just very specific about how I felt about them and kind of the relationship I wanted from them or could have or didn't have, how I felt about those characters. And so then in those scenes, I think it just, if you know all that as the actor, it just kind of, you know, it makes it more real. You don't have to show it to everybody, but it's it's there. And, I, and so then when it comes to killing one of them, then there's a, then there's a reason. And, and I also didn't want it to just be like, He's a crazy madman. He's killing somebody. There, there. I had a specific reason for each one why I was gonna go ahead and you know get rid of him. So, just <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get All rid right. of him. Well, Rachel asks, "Is horror your favorite genre to be a part of, or what is your comfort zone?" If you have one. me, me yeah, ask to you. Uh, I'm pretending again. I didn't know. Oh, oh, it's... oh, yes. <laughs> okay. oh. Um, I. No, because I, this is really the first horror thing I've really, where I was really like, you know, where it was like a horror genre. I mean, I actually really, I used to really enjoy just comedy, um, but it's, you know, there's certain things that go into booking comedy roles that has to do with your look and things like that, that I, I don't always have the right look for something like that, but, um, and I'm not funny. So there's, but <laughs> whatever. Um, yeah. It's a lie. Those two things. It is a lie. But no, I I, I used to. I, I think my most comfortable thing is just straight up just drama, just uh, you know relational drama. You know, some of the shows like Thirty Something. You know, the old shows are Six Feet Under, or, um, like Parenthood. Now is those are the kind of dramas that I really connect with as an actor. I think comedy is really hard. Yeah. When you're talking oh yeah, about that. it's hard. I think it's harder than drama in some ways. Yeah. Yeah. You, you kind of just have to be that. in drama and in comedy. Everything's like right. You, you have gotta, to find the you beats. rehearse that. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Was there anything else we want to say before we sign up? Thanks for watching. Yeah. Yes. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, and please continue to watch because we'll do them again. Yeah. But if you don't watch them, we're not gonna do them again because we're gonna think like you don't like it. Do them again, what do you mean? Like these videos. Oh, these. <laughs> We're going to do another, what? We're going to do another season? Yeah. What? We're going to do you... season two again. Can, can... Yeah, redo season two. Well, and two. if you watch, we want to do the feature that this is based on. Oh, yeah. We would love to be able to do that. So it's important that you guys watch and uh, support. Yeah. We so should I get a new wardrobe for the feature, though. Because <laughs> I don't know if I want to wear that again. Yeah. 
I don't know what she's talking about. But <laughs> remember that the next episode comes out on dinner. Yay! Uh, we were really hungry. The next oh, episode really comes hungry. out on Tuesday, and then the next one Thursday. So make sure to watch. Thanks again, and we love you guys. Bye. Bye.